Welcome everybody. Again, it's me, Benjamin, filling in for our friend Rob, who's still at home, uh, taking care of his little family. So, hey, Rob. Hey, baby Nora. You know, um, we all love you. Um, everybody is happy that you're here. Um, and I'm sending again live from Berlin, Germany. And we have a brilliant show for you today because we're going to unbox these cigars. I don't know if you can read that. But it says right here, Cigar Smoking World Championship. So if you thought that you're a good cigar smoker, you might reconsider after watching this episode today. Because there's actually a world championship in cigar smoking. And it's fierce. It's competitive. And it's complex. And we have the man who invented it. And it's still leading the show with us tonight, or tonight here in Germany, today uh, in, in, in the United States. And it's Marco Bilic, live from Croatia. How are you doing, Marco? Very good, uh, Benji. So nice to see you. A little sharp is good, as always. And I'm happy to be with you, with all our uh, friends who are uh, around the world watching today. Yes. So, Marco, the Cigar Smoking World Championship... I think let's let's just talk about real briefly about what the competition is about. Okay, just real briefly, because I want to battle you. Okay, so the, my my goal is to beat you, the inventor. Yes, I want to beat the inventor of the cigar smoking world championship. Okay, in smoking this okay, smoking this cigar let's, now live. Okay. Okay, let's okay let's do that. Come on, open the box. You have, you have cigar. Okay, so but so what's the so what are we battling on? So is that I, I so it's I, I, because I know I know what it's about, but you have to explain just briefly. So what's the goal of you know of the cigar smoking world championship? Before, before, let's let's start the cigar, and then I will tell you. Of course, I will I will give you the basic rules before we start, and then we'll explain a little bit more. So the practical the main goal is to try just one lighting of the cigar to, to smoke as as long as possible. So this is the dark. This is like a like a slowest uh, race on the on the planet. So that means we you have the one cigar which is specially made for this competition. Each cigar, yeah, for this year from the from the 2020 became official sponsor of Rocky Patel. So it's Mareva Sai. So everybody get exactly the same cigar uh, with the with the band which is glue and. Uh, You have a two matches. You have a cut one minute to cut your cigar, and then additional minute to light up your cigar. You can use these two matches, and then after that, there is no more lighting of cigar. You need to try to push that cigar as far as without relighting. We add some additional rules to make this challenge more interesting. And okay. uh, let let's start with cigar. I will. A bit more information. Okay, so the so the goal is to smoke this cigar as slowly as possible. Yes, absolutely. Right? Totally okay, so possible. because I'm the worst, I'm the worst in this already. So I'm already lost. But, I, but I'm so bad. I'm so bad that I even choose much bigger cigar than you. Look, mine's like a grand. Like a grand <laughs> you know, but look, man, I'm so, so bad in that. This is the reason why I choose why I choose to be the judge. You know. Because I never competing, I'm official judge. I'm traveling around, and I need to tell you, it's really fun to watch these people, and I need to keep it up. It's become real, really competition for many people. This yeah. is very serious. For most of the people, this is fun and excitement. But it's the uh, let's say 70 of the people take this as a fun and a nice opportunity to have a little bit challenge with friends, and about 30 of the people are really into this that are also good and so let's uh, okay. light up okay okay so so just to be yeah, two, matches. two matches we choose the two matches in the case that something is going wrong with the first one that you can that you can uh, have the back, uh, back, 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 back up uh, match uh, and uh, match and match and if you use the both of them both of them without, without success if you you don't think you that you don't have any match Okay. 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 That's, that's okay. No that's, pressure. That's no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but I can draw on it. I can draw on it and everything. So this is this I can do. I don't have to. That's, that's, so that's so fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. I just have to get it. I just have to get it lit with two matches. Have a cigar. So we usually 
We usually, you, you have a normal, you know, like a cutter, you cut cigar with a, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, it's not this cutter, it's a knife. So it's like a, a normal cut. You take a cut, you have, yeah. I also knife. have a knife, you know, I come prepared, you know, if I do a, it's a crocodile oh, yeah. dundee yeah. style. <laughs> That's not a knife. So, um, okay. So let's, 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 uh, let's start. You, did, you, did you cut your cigar? Did you cut it? I have, I have, yeah. Right. Okay. Check the draw, yeah. I was. Check the draw. Okay. Okay. Start, to Start now. Okay. Look, let's go. Let's go. You are not allowed to blow into the cigar from outside, so don't blow it in your cigar. So, will there be a penable a penalty if I do? Yeah. Yeah. This will be no penalty, but the judge can disqualify you because this is not a penalty. That's not a penalty, no. <laughs> mm. You know, usually the judge give you, in all these rules, we have, first of all, our main judge is the is a sharp shooter. She's Olympic win. Uh, she was a Croatian champion in the sharp, sharp shooting with the gun. So, you know, she's very serious. So, you know, you don't want to have such a gun. So, you know, you, you have, the, you have the, like, uh, uh, you have this all rules for some of the rules there is no penalty. Like, you are not allowed to blow through the cigar out or mm-hmm. through the cigar, through cigar out. You are just allowed to make a normal puff. That's okay. it. And judge, if you do something which is against the rules, there is no penalties for that, for some of the, of the mistakes that you can do during the competition. The judge okay. can give you the first book. And then, uh, if you repeat that, it can disqualify uh, disqualify you from the competition. But so, let's say now, just for a second, to focus a little bit more on the rules. So we light up cigar. We have this one minute to cut to light. We use these two matches now for the first forty minutes. You need to keep the ash. If you lose your ash, uh, you will get penalty minutes. So of course, in the oh. beginning, when your ash is uh, smaller. Is the less chance that you will lose your ash, so the yeah. penalty minute will be bigger. How okay. the, how you smoke cigar, of course, the ash will become bigger and bigger, and chance that you will lose your ash is getting yeah. bigger and bigger, and then the penalty minute is less and less until the 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, there is no more penalty minute. So you need to be concentrated in the same time, not to lose your cigar, focus Jeez. on the on the smoking, and in the same time try to keep the ash because this losing of the ash can make a big di- uh, difference uh, on the position on the end of the game. If you have, that, let's say, 10, yeah. 15 penalty minutes. Okay, so to recap it, so, so I, the, the ash is not allowed to drop in the first 40 minutes, 40 minutes of the you competition. Need after you, cigar, you need the 40 minutes to keep the ash on your cigar. In the beginning, okay. if you lose the ash, the penalty minutes is, is bigger. bigger. If you okay. have your approach to 40 minutes, the penalty minutes are less and less because your ash is bigger and, and chances that you lose the ash is bigger. So that okay. means... And we talk about the Mareva size, okay? So this is a Mareva size, kind of like a Corona, yeah. roughly. Yeah. You know, so... And and, then, and, and and I smoke this in 40 minutes, all the thing, usually. You know, so that's... <laughs> that's my challenge yeah, right people, there. <laughs> they will tell on the end of people what is the world record because this is amazing. Mm. You know, usually, yeah, Mareva size is like a 40 minute smoke to the one hour. If, and also you rely like a one, two, three times. Don't forget, this is one lighting of cigar. This is keep the cigar all the time lit. And uh, that some additional rules, which I want to just introduce you briefly. You are not mm-hmm. allowed to move cigar from your hand. So that means, you know, all the people who are, you know, we always recommend to the competitors to go in toilet because you because have sometimes, sometimes the people like, you know, with the face like they need to go in the toilet and then you know if they go in the toilet they get 10 pin penalty minutes because they they put the cigar out uh, of the hand on the ashtray so all the time you need to keep the like uh, on the one competition was the two finalists in this you know fighting and smoking and uh, the guy was nervous and cigar was uh, falling out from his hand and he got 10 penalty minutes and he lost even second place so mm-hmm. that is one of the very important rules is this competition ring Competition yeah. ring is uh, practically fixed on each cigar, and you are allowed to smoke until the competition ring, but you are not allowed to burn the ring. But if you burn the ring, you will get 15 penalty minutes. Why we add what? this? Why we add this rule is to make the game more interesting, more challenging. We have yeah. we in 
in in history of CSW, there's so many challenging and so many exciting moments when the let's say two finalists came to the same point next to the rim, like the same millimeter, and they need to to or to take a risk to burn and to lose even second place because of the 15 minutes on the fifth or sixth place, or you just you just try to beat your 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 the other guy or the other lady who is who is in a in a final yeah. final battle. So okay, like yeah. So so the, so so you have, have to so they can't take off the ring. You, you have, have to smoke the cigar through the ring, but you cannot burn the ring. Okay, so, so the ring is burned. Yeah, this 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 didn't happen in the beginning. In the beginning, people came to the ring, and when they were in panic, they just raised the hand, and we record their time, and they were safe because most of the people didn't want to burn the ring. And then, with the time, people start to train. People start to try to discover the new things, how they can push the time. Yeah. So the guys, the guys came to the point that they burn to the to the ring, and when they are on the millimeter to the ring, they start, they they change the the, the way of smoking. So they start to make a small puffs. So practically the burning going only inside. So they smoke only the filler. So they don't yeah. touch the wrapper. They can yeah. smoke only filler under the under the ring, and okay. some people there. There is one Russian guy called Sergei who is there like, I never, you know, I was believing with my eyes that he was making through the whole cigar. He almost burned the tongue and he was smoking 45 minutes additionally uh, below the ring, just the filler. So, you know, wow. people train for this and there is yes. so many new tactics and new strategies. Yeah, so this is what I meant in the beginning. So it's very complex. So it's not just about like pacing yourself. So this is why I'm holding this up and I'm smoking it like a German submarine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, because I don't want to lose the ash. First off, uh, yeah, first what to me usually. But to be honest, to be honest, if, you know, I'm I'm traveling every year. We have qualification events in more than 30 countries. I think yeah. that 2019 we have a 38 countries. So I see so many different tactics. Some of the best smokers even keep cigars from the beginning like this. And just control. They they control. They track the ash because they don't want that cigar start to do the canoeing or, or to go in. A, you know they want to keep cigar to 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 smoke to to burn the in, in the sharp way. So you know okay. this is amazing. See all these people how to progress. I can give you one just small one information. I think we can we can give this information to audience now already. So the first time when we had a competition before ten years, the first time in this competition was one hour and 34 minutes. It, the winner, the world champion, was Croatian guy, Tony mm -hmm. And then now, the world record holder is Igor Kovacic. So after 10 years, so just imagine, uh, from one, uh, one hour and 34 minutes, with the trainings, with the new strategies, with the, the, with the new techniques, they managed to smoke just one that sec. Can you Can you guys hear me still? Can yeah, you hear yeah, me? Absolutely. Okay, because no. I don't, I have no sound right now, just to let you no. know. You look so, man. If you want, I can jump in Berlin and sit next to you. If you can. You're yeah, I can. Uh, I still continue to smoke and try not to lose my cigar uh, and hey. my ash, and uh, and I still try to figure out how to just smoke uh, smoke the filler can you hear us? and can not you hear the us? binder. Okay. So, so if I you can still, speak. because I don't hear anything. Here. You don't hear Okay, I'm just talking. Let me you know, let me replug let me replug my mic just to make sure. Wait, no, I will let, 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 let's try it. This is the new thing here. First time, which was one hour and thirty four minutes, until the until the last now the the last time, which is official time, uh, is uh, now Igor Kovacic is the Swedish Tiger. His nickname is now uh, holding the world record, which is uh, three hours and 52 minutes. So from one hour and 34 okay, minutes back until three hours. Can you hear me now? Now, now I can hear you. Thank you. Sorry for being away real quickly. Uh, the, the, the fun parts of modern technology. I don't know what happened, but... Are you I'm alone just, there? Uh, Are you alone? Are you alone there or someone else? Ah, no, I'm alone. I'm, I'm on my own. You know, during COVID times, uh, we take uh, the whole thing under, under, under lockdown here in Germany. So I, I take this very seriously. Mm -hmm. And uh, because my wife, interestingly, my wife, she's a sports with Olympic athletes uh, here in, in outside of outside of, of Berlin in Potsdam, which is the Brandenburg uh, area. So you she know, trains pentathletes, 
um, sailors, I don't know, like different types of Olympic athletes. So, and I remember you told me once that actually cigar smoking, and I didn't get your uh, conversation. So, but this is the thing that I, that really blew my mind. So you told me when we were in Paris, you told me that you talked to like a sports historian. Yeah. And told him about your competition and he was simply blown away. Yeah, he was. He was. Uh, he's. Uh, he's a very, very famous uh, sport historian in uh, in Croatia, and he followed many sports. And we. He, and we. He was in one of our competition, and he said to me after, you know, he was very proud. He was very surprised. You know, we know each other, and he said many of the sports, like let's say the soccer or the golf, or many many sports in the beginning, was uh, was practically. Mm, not so popular in the beginning. Many people was even some rules uh, considering very quickly. You know, uh, the real Olympic sport or challenge was only the, let's say, the some kind of the competitions where the people was challenging, challenging each other with the, some kind of the physical possibility. You know, who will jump uh, longer, who will, who will uh, run fa uh, faster. But let's say soccer, golf, basketball, all these sports are just a bunch of the rules by the human. And the people try to be best in that, that route. And, uh, you know, for sport, he said, it's very important. There is a motivation. There is a challenge. There is excitement and skill. You know, mm -hmm. you need to have some skill. That, that the challenge is not depending on the luck. And he said yeah. to me, I find all these four elements in, in your competition. So he said, you, you really invented real competition. You know, it's, it's not just a, some fun with the luck. It's really yeah. like excitement, skill. You know, motivation. This is all what you need to to become the champions. So this is the reason why these people, uh, you know, like let's say you have this competition, which is very, very. Uh, I will say not competition. But I will. I will prefer to say like a fun. You know, when the people compete, who will have the longest stash? But yeah. longest stash is really depend mostly on the luck. You know, construction of cigar and you know exactly. Many, yeah. uh, and this is the reason why you don't have too many. Uh, you know, when the people compete, someone. We have always like the top ten people who are, you know, who are in, in a in a in a top and you know they're changing position and you have a new name who are trained and who are coming in and they want to push the times and are really the training they succeed to to push the limits and that proves that uh, CSWC is a real competition. So this means that maybe one day this will be Olympic. This is where I'm going. You know, so I, I, you guys out there, and what, you yeah, know, me too, so what you could do, you just tell your wife, well, I'm going to the gym. You know, I have to train for my Olympic career. And then you just go to the lounge and smoke a cigar yeah, as slowly you know, as you can. That's awesome. You know, many, many friends said to me, Marco, thank you so much. I don't need to be in the shape to be in this competition. I can be fat. I can be thin. I can be short. I can be whatever. I still like there. I still like can be in it. So, you know, you just have to be very patient. That's uh, that's yeah. a challenge right there. <laughs> I think you know, have steady, I have steady hands. A few of the names. I will just tell you. You know, I was telling before. That was interesting. First, first competition was the one hour thirty four minutes, and then yeah. for the five years, time didn't was jumping to the one hour, and the record up after, after four years was. One hour fifty two minutes. Arranged for two miles from out that was holding the one hour fifty two minutes, which was and everybody was considered like two hours, like this is like a you know, like a magic line that it touch like a two hours it's tough. And then uh, Darren, American guy show up, he become like a legend of this sport. He's a guy from Nashville. He's yeah. definitely I think, one of the biggest names of, of this competition. And he was making one hour fifty seven. And, you know, everybody, he was so happy. Everybody was thinking, okay, two hours is still really not possible. And then the Russian guy, Igor Korovin, who yeah. was like really... Yeah, also said, the American guy is, is Darren Chopi, you know, so he's... Uh, yeah, so Darren, shout out to Darren. You know, maybe he's watching, yeah. uh, so... He's a great guy, great guy, yeah. great competitor. You know, I, I like, I also like a... Like, uh, like a personality, a personality is like a perfect for champion. He's a, like a mysterious, he's like, you know, like James Dean. Kind of yeah. personality, really good. Yeah, and, yeah, and he also has his own bro. cigar brands. Just a, another shout out, Principal Cigars, yeah. also very good. You know, if yeah, you get, get your hands on those, try them. Yeah, really nice, good brand. And uh, the other guy was Igor Korovin, the Russian guy who was really good in this competition. He was already the world champion before, and uh, he was so 
you know, he was so angry that he lost the record he trained. And the next season, when the competition qualification season started, he beat the record and he smoked in two hours 22. So then, you know, you know, that, that then becomes the game is on. Everybody, yes, everybody started to, to train, everybody started to be serious about it. And also with the time, the sponsors start to be more serious with the prizes, with, with the additional things. And now a bunch of the big serious sponsors who are providing yeah. a big for prizes. That's true. I think uh, let's let's talk about the sponsors uh, real quick uh, because the the winner. So it's not just about like the honor and you're the best cigar smoker. So you really get amazing prizes. Because I was I was when I was at the the first finale uh, with you there in Split, uh, which is a great trip any time of the year. But for the cigar smoking world championship grand finale, it's it's even better. Uh, that the prizes are just. Uh, out of this world, right? So I don't know if we can we can show some of the prizes, all right? Yeah, we um, have some. There's for the final. Even even I need to tell you the sponsors are really magnificent. They support even the qualification event with some smaller prizes. But then for the grand final, they are coming with something special. Like for example, we have the uh, you know this very famous now become like a I think the the most famous cigar knife cigar cutter. Uh, La Finland, they are our official uh, sponsor, official cutter. Yeah, Pierre Jolin, shout out yeah. to Marseille. Yes, uh, they make a beautiful knife with the gold inside of the handle and with the beautiful engraving of the, you know, CSWC world champion. Then we have like um, also the, uh, from, uh, from, um, from Cuero Sobrino. Cuero Sobrino is a beautiful Swiss boutique brand of the watches with the origin in uh, Havana. So you know, yeah. mm -hmm. they are very famous. They were very famous brand in the golden time of Havana. They was even dealing with the Rolex and Patek Philippe. And in 2000, they established the company. They they are making the watches from you know 5,000 uh, euro to 150,000 euro per watch. So they make a special line, special line for the grand final, for the winner. And this is only mm -hmm. only one watch that you can get as a champion of the CSWC. Then one of the really, really special, uh, special uh, prize lighter, which yeah. is $22,000 uh, worth, pure gold. So let's say it again, $22,000 lighter. That's the, yeah, main, this the is, main price. Yeah, this is the one, yeah, one of the main prizes. And this is like engraved world champion. And this is only one in the world who is going in the, uh, in the hands of the, of the world champion every year. We have also the one uh, of our local sponsor, the one uh, members of our club, Mareva. He's a he's a big businessman and he has a big yacht, mega yacht of 24 hours boat for a champion and 11 friends, all inclusive. You know, jet skis, champagnes, uh, food, everything. So you can like uh, for one one day you can be like a billionaire. billionaire. So you know. So you know. Yeah. Cigar Journal is our sponsor, who is uh, following us and giving subscription and everything yeah. else for the, for the winner. And, uh, you know, Rocky Patel this year was preparing one special humidor for, for, uh, for, uh, for a winner. Of course, this uh, corona situation didn't allow us to have the events. And, of course, Bovida. Bovida is coming also with amazing prizes, with the humidors, with the sensor, you know, like a butler and all the other stuff. So Beta is really picking up uh, really, really well the, the, the first three places yeah. on the grand final and of the qualification event. Yeah, so that, that, this is change somebody, uh, Bovida in a uh, value of 22K, you know, it, it, it's more than he could ever eat, you know, so that's, <laughs> so yeah, we have still, to be a little still, more. Still, you know, <laughs> still beautiful people. To be honest, you know, to be light, honest, you know, lighter, lighter is something, you know, you put in, a, in, in, in your home or I don't know, the knife. But Bovida is something that you need every day. You know, our, we as a star smokers, we need this every day. I'll tell you something. You know, with, uh, my family started to be crazy about Bovida. Like, my mother is keeping the bread to keep the fresh. My uh, cousin smoked weed. All my cousins become, become uh, the good friends with me for smoking the weed. My uncle is keeping the cash in the Bovida bags. You know, cash? My, my cash, yeah, because he wants the fresh money. You know, he said... <laughs> You know, like, it's beautiful, you know, my, uh, you say my Christmas, you say my Christmas, I give to all the family, Bovida, everybody's you know? That's good. That's a, that's a new, that's a new and niche right there. More to like people who just love the smell of money. Yeah, yeah that's, and that's yeah, awesome. like fresh cash, man. There's nothing and smell, there's like, nothing yes. smell like fresh cash. <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. Like, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think Bovida is a, is a something that is, ne uh, for us cigar smokers, become like necessity. Yeah, true. And also, I mean, I, I remember when we came on board, because I, I heard about your competition. I cigar. Yeah, but you lost your ash, so you get extra, ah, you're out. Yeah, I'm out. out. He's out. I still, I'll give, I, I will give it a try. So until uh, our show is over, I will see. And then you have to tell me if I did good or not. So because I was wondering, because you never really draw on your cigar. I was like, okay, he knows more. But this is like kind of just a, like third time that I smoked this cigar. So I don't know how it burns, you know. So I try to over it, I guess. But... Benji, do you know that uh, no, we, have that, some, uh, we have some of the people who are even cheating on this competition? How? I cannot. No, no, don't tell how you can cheat. You can, oh, yeah. oh, there, there. Was... I just tell, just tell how you the ones that you cheated and that you caught. Uh -huh, so you don't do it again. Maybe that's uh, no, because you get uh, if you get caught cheating, it, you're out of the competition, right? So yeah, like, you know, let's say when you come next to the ring, you know, uh, it really helps to keep your cigar on to pull the cigar out. That really yeah. can help to maintain. This is not a law. So sometimes okay. people, you know, when, when judge is not around. They cheat a little bit and they blow out to try to, yeah. to keep the cigar, and this is not low. So you you have a different kind of the way. Yeah, and you know, and you're not allowed to touch, not allowed to touch yeah. uh, the burn or yeah. anything, right? So that's that's what Those I guys, you know, just just moisten up the burn or something like yeah. that to have it. Yeah, know? one of the rules, one of the important rules is not allowed to do any manipulation with cigars. So you need all the time to keep, you know, everything natural. You don't need you, you are not allowed to use fingers to move your action. Touch or you know, just smoking, keep your cigar in your hands, and that's it. You need to be, yeah. you know, best natural way of the smoking. Yeah, so I'm already really tense, you know, and I see I was amazed. Um, the, the first time I was at one of your competition, I was amazed how competitive some of yeah, the people are you set. You know, for most, most people, it's probably fun. Yeah, I try to smoke a lot, but there are guys up there, and, and I know that Darren. And uh, and yeah, Alexander like, Shagai and all these people, they're really in there to win that thing, you know, and they will do mm. everything. I don't know if we can show some of the pictures uh, from the competition um, where you can really see like people like building a little like a little four, you know, from the uh, from the like the flyer from the competition. They built like a little four to event to avoid ventilation uh, kicking in and some yeah, stuff. Yeah, so yeah. they're really, really concentrated and really down to that. I I also, what I want to say, I will use this opportunity to say also to everybody who is watching, who, who never tried this competition. One of my messages always, guys, this is the, uh, you know, this is something you need to try. You now, when you read the rules, it, it looks like a complicated, but complicated. When you, but when you start to compete, it's very easy because it's very very logical. You know, you try, you start, you keep the ash, you fall, you you just try not to burn the ring. And that's it. And you sit down and you start to smoke a little bit slower than usual. Look, this is the easiest way to win the watch of the five thousand dollar. You know, tell me the yeah, other and the, and the twenty-two K lighter. Or the lighter or whatever. No, but look also the qualification events. Six qualification events every year, and you can win all these additional prizes. So all what you need to do is sit down and smoke your cigar. I yeah. make this really easy, you know. So you have so many people who really, you know surprise themselves because they become good you have some really talented people like Darren. i think he's just talented yeah. for this you know yeah and like oleg oleg was explained the russian yeah. champion he was explaining that he by the taste he can understand which part of cigar he smoked he, yeah. he can already always just smoking inside or outside or it's just unbelievable and i will tell you always new names are coming always the new big names are coming so i'm telling to everybody you know, uh, there is a big chance. Ah, I'm out. Jesus Christ. Out. Ah, man. Out. Ah. Loser. Loser. <laughs> just yeah, because I felt that I was going out, so I just took a, top, a couple of deep puffs. Usually, you uh, know, Veggie, it's very nice idea. It's very nice idea for this competition to, to wear the white uh, jacket. You know, when Edge fall down on you, you look like you he was uh, working in a mine. You yeah. <laughs> mine. The coal mine. <laughs> yeah. It's also yeah, that's good to show. So yeah, so I have I will relight it in a second. So let's just talk about the um so you mentioned a couple of names, obviously. How many people overall compete, you know, in the world championship? I think, yeah, during the during the year I think about something so qualification the grand final about thousand five hundred people to three thousand people. 
together. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But how many would you say are really like competitive cigar smokers? You know, I, I would which, say relied it with a with a with a match. I, 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 I tell you. I want to send this message. Seventy percent of the people take this as a fun, and thirty yeah. percent take this uh, serious. And this is perfect balance. Why? Because this seventy uh, percent also enjoying in this competitive spirit of this 30% of the people who are serious. And this is like in any sport, you know, you, you have many people who are playing the football or something just for fun, and then yeah. you have professional people who are serious. Sometimes it's not about, you know, I like when people give the critics. Some people can say, look, this is a stupid idea. I like, you know, for me, the cigar smoking is not competing, it's just sitting and enjoying. Guys, yeah. it's like a race, a race of the car, you know. Enjoying of the, the driving is to put the roof, uh, roof down and to drive on the next on the on the or whatever. But yeah. some people like to race, so you know, I, I would say that people uh, the, the cigar smoking world champion is a competition and it's not meant to be joy. You know, I previous I was the bike racer, and when I was uh, 17 and 18, I was competing in a 200. And by 37 laps is not a joy. Mm. You are no. not enjoying. It. You are you are no. tired, you are exhausted, but it's about competition. So yeah. you have the guys who are coming to watch you racing, and they are not for the racing because they are not enjoying in the race, but they like to watch. And there is a people who like to race. So this is with yeah. the cigar smoking competition. You know, this competition not everybody everybody will not compete. But definitely, they need to respect the people who find the challenge in this and to compete. Okay, so let's talk about the cigar real quick because now I start to really smoke the cigar and enjoy it. It's actually a nice cigar, I have to say. Rocky did a good job in blending this, yeah. and it also got a, a top ten rating in Cigar Journal, right? If I'm not mistaken, so yeah. it's really good cigar. I'm sure you. So, a little bit of a in Cigar Journal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Reinhold. Send, send cash, okay? Thank you. <laughs> and then, um, so, but you didn't start. There you go. 91 point. 91 point. 91 point. That's yeah. a pretty darn good rating. Um, but you didn't start. You didn't start Rocky, cigar. You said Rocky just signed on uh, just recently. So I will tell you how was the history shortly because yes, I know shortly that, because yes. I know that I have a, you know I'm you know I'm coming from Mediterranean, and I'm the worst person for COVID virus. I'm speaking so much, I think I infect about 100 people easily. So, you know, I will tell you uh, the, the history. We started with the Monte Cristo number four. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, Monte Cristo four was the legendary cigar, and I choose the Mareva size because, uh, like, um, you know, like, like not too big, not too short. It's like a middle size. And I was thinking this is the best for, for the competition. Then, you know, we really came to the point where we need to have a sponsor in a meaning because we grow so much and this is something amazing that cigar companies not, not practically you know in some markets like russia russia is mostly like a cuban market and by bringing this, country, this competition you practically force try the competition cigar to smoke cigar and to buy cigar and also like so it's good for the sales, it's good for marketing, and it's good for the presence of the brand. And yeah. uh, the companies, the cigar producers, uh, really find a huge interest in, in, uh, in sponsorship of the CSWC. Yeah. So you and found a new sponsor, and that was STG. Was so it was the STG, and they was really brilliant sponsor. We was uh, having first agreement for the three years, and we... we we was doing four years because we really was everything was perfect. And then, you know, came the time that we make agreement. Okay, we, we will go, everybody, you know, we are still SDG and uh, Cigar Club, Mareva, Cigar Smoke World Championship. We are like perfect people and every, everything was functioning really great. And, you know, after some time, it just agreement was, okay, we go a little bit, you know, in different directions. And uh, this was the agreement between SDG and CSWC. And then Rocky Patel was there also, interesting to then be there to support CSWC. Because, you know, Rocky is yeah. also the big, big showman. He loves the like, excitement, his events and everything. You know, Rocky Patel is also like a very 
big brand, not just in a producing, but he has the, the lounges and everything, and he like a deal. Yeah, and, and he's a marketing you know, genius. So that's that's a match yeah, made in heaven, I think. So he's, a legend. he's almost he's, he's almost like Rocky Balboa, you know, almost <laughs> like <laughs> almost. Yeah. So one thing I'm really interested to so there's have, one there's one thing that we still need to reveal, and that's the 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 world record. Okay. So, but before we do that, let's just talk about because Boboda uh, is now a sponsor, what in three three or four years or something like this. I think you know? three years. Three years. So. Um, because I remember, so I approached you and said, well, if you have a cigar smoking world championship, the humidity of the cigar is is very important, you know, yeah, when it comes I, to smoking I, times. I, I still remember, you know, that night when it was disgusting, it was, it was drunk in a striptease club and just kidding. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> No, I, I remember when we was discussing about that. I'm just glad my wife is not watching this, you know. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Come on. So, uh, <laughs> so we was we was uh, we was in an inter tabac and discuss and I'm very grateful to you because Bobby was practically logical to be the sponsor of CSWC because cigars are in condition. We have many complaints of competitors that cigars are not in the same condition in different countries on publication events. And this was really become the big problem because, you know, if you are smoking in some dry country, cigar is a smoke faster. And so, you know, I'm so grateful to you that you recognize this and that you put your friendship part and support. And I'm really grateful to you and to everybody in Bovida because this also brings one level, one level up in, in professional kind of approach to cigar. Yeah. And, 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 and so how a, much, so be, like let's compare before Bovida to now with Bovida. So, uh, I'll say Bovida, Bovida. Ah, you get me. So, but, uh, so with Bovida, so the times actually went up, right? Because right now everybody, A, you have a level playing field, but yeah. also. This was, this was the case. I will explain you what happened. So. Bovida was before the sponsor, you, 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 you provide the prizes and everything. And then you remember me and you, we came to this, we were sitting down to discuss about this problem uh, that cigars arriving in different countries in different conditions. And then we practically approached the Macanudo to make this special Bovida back, seven side, and with Bovida, Bovida 69 uh, uh, percentage of the... And that was all competition cigar was packed in the factory. And they were shipped with already in Bovida bag, so to the qualification events. And you can see from one year, in a one year, just in one year when we start to do that, the best time, the world record was two, uh, three hours and six minutes, which was already- Which already is mind blowing, no. like three hours yeah. of Mareva size. That's crazy. <laughs> Just imagine this, three hours and six minutes was like already people was thinking, okay, this is this is it, this is this is not possible to break this. Three hours and six. Then Bovid came coming to, to the, because the uh, cigar was staying for months in a perfect condition. And then three hours and six minutes, not jump for like three hours and fifty. It came to three hours and fifty-two minutes. So three three hours, hours, fifty-two minutes. So the world record. By Igor Kovac with the Swedish Tiger. Swedish Tiger, yeah. yeah. Swedish yeah. Tiger. So, he, so it's like almost four hours that you smoke a Mariva size cigar. That yeah. is. And Swedish okay. Tiger is amazing. You know, if you, if you see him, you are scared of him. He's a big, he's eating the cigars like a popcorn, man. He eats you. <laughs> he's, 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 no, he's an amazing guy, and it was the last, last uh, in 2019, last live season. It was amazing because Darren and Igor Kovacic was beating each other the world record in a, in a one in two weeks. They was taking from each other the records four times, wow. and uh, you know it was great. Well, first, the Darren was uh, smoking three hours and twenty something, and then Igor beat, then Darren beat, and then again Igor was finalizing in Sweden. Organized by Mike Martin Briggs, great guy. The fifth, hey, Martin. Gustafsson, uh, the, the champion, who is official Swedish champion. But Igor was beating the world record in Sweden. Three hours, 52 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. With that small stick that you usually smoke. Yeah, one, four, 40 minutes. That's but, crazy. Yeah, okay, say just, something. just to wrap it up. And, okay, one thing, and then we have to wrap it up. Yeah. This is important to say to the audience that this is 
you know, these people are not present on each qualification event. They are allowed only to come and win it. So there is plenty of chances for the other guys. Average time of the smoking for the winner on qualification events is one hour, 40 minutes. So that okay. people are not scared. So that yeah. people don't think, oh, you know, on each event is like three hours, 52 minutes. No, this is only a few events during the qualification season where you have such a big times. Most yeah. of the events, the average time of the winning is one hour, 30, one hour, 40 minutes. Okay, so that's important. So if, if I, if our viewers want to participate in the Cigar World Championship, how can they do it? So what's, where should they direct their attention? Where do they sign up? And what's the process? Yeah. So you compete in the local competition yeah. first, and then you book your trip to the grand finale to, uh, to split, right? If I remember correctly. So you have like a, like a qualification, like event, a qualification on a national, event on a national, on national basis in different countries. Big countries, some big countries like United States. We have even like West Coast, East Coast, you know, Florida. We have many, and then there is a U.S. final, and then the winner is flying on the grand final in Croatia on the on the big final, and then also in some of the other countries you have also some national all qualification event, and then the winner is going. But usually, you have the qualification events in the countries, and you have Asia, Middle East the United States, all Europe, Russia, you know, it's like really become the global. Now, they also invite us to go in Australia. They, you know, we will be part of the present territory. We, we, we will be uh, Pro Cigar, Pro Cigar Festival. Yeah. Competition yeah. was a part of the program. Okay, perfect. So right, there's a way you can sign up or something yeah, like this? Or? For now, just to, to tell, for now, because of the COVID so events. What's, what's the website? www.csw.com, uh, yeah cswcworld.com okay this is where you sign up okay yeah. because we are, i see our producer is getting nervous a little bit because i mean uh, it, it, so we're gonna we're gonna aim for the four hours you know but yeah. uh, i'm just telling you so all of you out there if you feel that this could be fun and i tell you it is even though i suck you know but i know there are many people with more patience and steady hands and it and it's part of training you know we, we make sure to grab a box of the rocky patel cigars um, to, to train and then sign up for a local competition and then you can win a trip uh, to to split. I mean, it, you still have to pay your plane ticket, but I think the rest is, is, is covered or yeah, something uh, like this, right? Yeah. And also the Benji, just, the Benji, just to tell to everybody before we stop, uh, we will definitely, they can check on our website. Uh, we will have some online trainings. So people ah. will be able to come on the Zoom because we was having last year the, during yeah. the COVID, we had the Zoom qualification event online. Now yeah. we are finished with that, we have the final event, but we will re-establish the training. So people can come on the Zoom to train with us. We will give them the lectures and advi advices so they can they can also, even the new live season start, they can be yeah. ready and they will be more informed. So okay, so there will that. be like a, a coach, this is like a coach session where they where you will be trained to be champion cigar smoker. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. So I will sign up for this for sure because I want that lighter i have to tell you so uh, i know we're sponsors so I'm maybe i'm not allowed to compete look you as a sponsor if you if you raise up the sponsorship we can always make you the champions <laughs> okay you know, i have to talk to shim and, uh, to and sean about this <laughs> <laughs> that's the creation way i like it all right marco yeah. thank you very much this was a lot of fun uh, and thank very interesting and, and next time I make a show to be two hours because for me, 30 minutes, look, I'm just warm up. No, I need now to find in the Corona time. This is really difficult. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, and still, I mean, it, it, it took me, I don't know how long it was, like half an hour or something like this to go through maybe a third of the cigar. So that's actually pretty good for me, even though it died on me. But I'm going to start training now with the second one. So I'm going to just enjoy this, Can finish it with my whiskey and okay. start training keep... today. Angie, just to tell you on the end, I was cheating on the end. I was cheating. That was a Toro size. <laughs> Toro. Yeah, but I mean, as, as we all know, it's all about the technique, yeah. you know. So, so that so, be the final word. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. See, I'm we'll fully again next week. Um, yeah, you just follow us on social media. You find out what we're doing. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank, ciao, ciao, Eva, thank you so much, Benji, and everybody. Ramsey, thank you so much for everybody and. For